I give up and it's time for you to give up as well. Warriors, in today's video, we're gonna go deep, very deep. Let's go. Warriors, welcome to another important video, my friends. Yes, today we are out in nature in a beautiful park. I said, you know what? Let's create some change and do this video somewhere else because it's an important video, okay? This video may change your life and may supercharge your anxiety healing journey because it has everything to do with the things that I gave up on Okay, and I'm going to share with you those things, those 10 things that I gave up on that I highly suggest you give up on starting right now to supercharge your anxiety recovery. Okay, this is going to be key. Number one is I want you to give up on how your old name would approach your anxiety healing. Okay, when it comes to who you believe you are, and the baggage that you've carried around based around the name that you are, you need to understand how is that person approaching the anxiety healing, okay? For example, you take a Frank. Frank has gone through many, many emotional traumas as a child. Frank is programmed to believe in lack, okay? Frank doesn't believe he has the abilities to heal. He doesn't believe he has the resources to heal. Now, Frank is trying to approach his anxiety healing. What do you think is gonna happen? Frank's always gonna keep starting over, right? He's gonna keep starting over, and he's gonna go between anxiety and depression over and over and over again. So I gave up on trying to heal my anxiety through Dennis, and I highly urge that you do the same, okay? You need to be a different person approaching anxiety healing differently from a completely different mindset in order for you to truly heal, okay? Number two is give up on the millions of different coping and distracting techniques, okay? If you go online, there's a million and one different types of coping and managing symptom-based techniques. If you try to implement every single one of these with half a heart and, and not a full understanding because you're in such a fight or flight response all the time, then you're gonna fail, right? And you're just gonna keep looking for more techniques. So we need to differentiate between what's a managing te technique and what's a healing technique, okay? A managing technique has everything to do with trying to manage the current situation that you're in. And a healing technique is one that speaks to your subconscious mind to make the changes in the programming that you're under at the deepest level. So you need to understand, is one a coping technique or is it a healing technique? And, and, and try not to equip yourself with a million different techniques, okay? Just focus on four or five techniques on a weekly basis, okay? And I'll add a few of those in my descriptions and, and the video to those techniques in regards to healing, okay? So let's give up on trying to equip ourselves with millions of different techniques. Number three is give up on the old way of introducing yourself to the world, okay? So the moment you wake up in the morning, it's kind of like, oh, here I am, right? And anxiety sufferers tend to check in with elements of their anxiety instantly. And when they go outside, they're very rigid in the way they walk, okay? When they talk to people, they tend to talk about lack and, and they're really 50% there and 50% checking in with their anxiety elements on the inside. So you need to give up on the old ways of introducing yourself to the world. When you wake up in the morning, the first 15, 20 minutes, who are you, right? What sort of movement, movements are you going through with your body? What are you saying in front of the mirror, right? What sort of thoughts are you giving energy to? Every morning when you wake up, I want you to wake up introducing yourself to the world in a completely different manner than you have been, okay? This is very, very important, my friends. Number four, give up on the need for acceptance, okay? Forget about acceptance. If somebody doesn't accept you, so what? There's seven, eight billion people in the world, right? Your vibe will attract your tribe. And what that means is as you are rising in frequency, as you are rising in vibration and, 
and, and fear is starting to dissipate and self-love is starting to take over, the universe is going to start creating uh, uh, pathways to the tribe that you're meant to be with, okay? So if you're going through every single day looking to be accepted by everybody and doing everything you can to please other people, then that's called anxiety, right? So you need to give up on the need for acceptance completely, okay? The only person you're responsible for is who? Yourself, nobody else. Number five give up on the fear of rejection okay i want you on a daily basis to put yourself in situations where people may reject you okay like i said in my first book i used to go to the mall and wear pajamas everybody's looking at me like what the heck is wrong with that guy he's wearing pajamas can't he even dress himself when he gets out of bed i didn't care i was being rejected by people maybe not verbally but i could see it in their face so what we have to do is we have to get comfortable with rejection, get comfortable with rejection, okay? And, and make this a priority in your daily life, okay? Place yourself in situations where you feel people are gonna reject you, and then make sure that your level of self-worth, determination, capability stays high even when they're rejecting you, okay? So this is very, very important, something that you have to give up. Six, give up on chasing happiness, my friends. Stop chasing happiness, okay? Chasing happiness is one of those things where it's like a dog constantly chasing his tail, going in circles. Happiness is a byproduct of other things that you do, okay? Ch if, happiness cannot be the end goal, right? So before happiness comes a lot of different elements, right? Uh, uh, your level of self-worth will determine how far you go in the anxiety recovery process, okay? Um, the way you perceive your past and possibly your childhood traumas is very, very important. The way you perceive people in your past that either did or didn't do things for you is very, very important. Uh, the way you present yourself to the world today, all of these elements will bring on happiness, Okay, so what you have to focus on are more so the micro and not so much the macro. Focus on the micro, okay? And, and if you do this, then happiness will be a byproduct of the things that you do and the new lifestyle changes that you make on a daily basis, my friends, okay? Number seven, give up on overvaluing worry. Worry may feel like it comes with a tremendous amount of value, right? The more I worry, the closer I am to solving a problem. The more I worry, the better I'm gonna be, whatever you've attached worry to, my friends, okay? Worry really gives you something to do, but it gets you nowhere, okay? But with anxiety, we tend to default to worry because it's kind of like brother and sister, right? Without worry, you can't have anxiety. Without anxiety, you can't have worry. So it's a perpetual loop. So when we look at worry, we have to go, oh, it's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. All this attention, energy, and focus I used to give worry, now I see beyond it. Now I see through the worry, okay? Number eight, give up on caring for others so much more than caring for yourself. You come first. You come first. And that's going to sound selfish to a lot of people, but the truth is, you can't really help another person until you truly help yourself, okay? So you have to understand, am I putting other people on a pedestal? Am I putting other people first before me? If this is the case, it has to change. You come first, my friends, and make sure that each and every day, this is your focus, all right? Number nine, give up on overcomplicating your anxiety recovery and simplify. We have to simplify the process, okay? If the process feels simple, good. That means that you have a structure. Anxiety recovery demands a structure, okay? So as you implement this structure, and as time goes on, you're gonna find that your anxiety dissipates and you can start letting go more. You can be more unconscious, if that makes sense. You don't have to be so mindful about every little thing. But in the beginning, you need structure, okay? So don't overcomplicate your anxiety recovery. Make sure that you simplify things, okay? And number 10, 
give up on waiting for change to come to you. Change is not coming to you. You have to go to change. You have to manifest change. This is the way, my friends, okay? These are the 10 things that I really want you to give up on. In the comment section, I want you to share with me which one of these 10 spoke to you the loudest. And I will put all of these in the description below. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Have a wonderful day. And if you're looking for a step-by-step -step process to heal your anxiety, head over to TheAnxietyGuy.com today and begin your anxiety healing journey. You are more than anxiety. Don't ever forget it, my friends. Bye-bye.